not many of you will recognise this walkway, but this is the Jerry Owens walkway. To vlogging with Shelley. I want to start off by welcoming all of the new subscribers to the Shelley Vlogs family and I hope you enjoy this week's video. I am starting off of course today with a chicken autumn dinner as well as I am trying out some pumpkin um, recipes. I made my own pumpkin puree um, last week for October favourites as well as I did manage to find a canned pumpkin puree. So I'm going to be making two recipes, one using the homemade pumpkin puree that I made myself and the second one using the one that I bought in a can. Now I've never seen pumpkin puree before so I didn't even realise I could get it. So while I was over with family at the weekend we found that the local Super Valley over there had an American section in their store. <laughs> so I went and I bought a can of pumpkin puree and I had so many suggestions for recipes last week that I have picked two that I'm going to make. And I'm going to pop up the two suggestions here of the people that um, gave me the suggestion and I will be trying them out of course today. But first I'm going to start with my favourite autumn chicken dinner. <laughs> bunches of cauliflower, one bunch of broccoli and of course two carrots. I'm just going to go and give these a wash now guys and then you're going to get to join me with me chopping them up. my autumn chicken dinner. Now the seasonings I use to flavour chicken weight and also what I use to flavour the veg weight when I cook it is for the chicken I will use this uh, chicken steak 
chicken and steak season grinder. So I've made this autumn chicken dinner once before and it was such a hit with my family. Um, now, of course, like my brothers are like, they eat anything. So um, you can, it's never a hit and a miss with them. They would eat absolutely anything. Now I'm using chicken drumsticks this time. Last time I used chicken thigh and um, they loved it. Um, but during these pandemic times, we have to cook with what we have on hand. So also for the chicken, I'm using Himalayan pink salt and ground black pepper. It gives that extra bit of flavor to it all. Um, I need to get a new grinder. <laughs> I need a proper grinder because these ones just kind of seize up way too quick. There we go. So it's ground black pepper and I'm going to use the Himalayan pink salt. I started using this, like I've always had it, but I never kind of really used it, if you know what I mean. Um, it was always just kind of in my herb rack and one day I seen like recipes and some of them were like, um, you can substitute normal table salt for this salt or some of the recipes actually called for Himalayan pink salt and if then I remembered, hey, I have that. Okay, so now I'm just putting my veg. And of course, last time I used normal potato, this time I'm using sweet potato. Um, I bet you don't know many Irish people who don't like an Alice Bud. I hate potatoes. I am, um, I, I, I don't know. I've never taken a liking to them. I will eat them out of um, politeness if somebody cooks them. Um, and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I do actually spend the rest of the night gagging. I don't know. I never talked to them. I'm, I've just, just never been a potato person. I know a lot of people are going to say, but didn't you eat them when you were younger? And I'm like, I can't remember. I honestly can't remember if I ever ate at them when I was younger. Um, I probably did because it is a staple for a lot of um, Irish dinners. And a lot of dinners around the world. But, uh... I'm more of a pasta, couscous um, kind of person, so I don't even like vegetables, <laughs> but I've got an eight-year-old, so um, I kind of have to branch out a little bit. Okay, so the oil I use is the, the, the this, this oil, I hate the word, I will never say the word out loud, um, rapeseed, it's rapeseed oil, and I just drizzle it over the bed. Now I found this original recipe on Pinterest when I was looking for some ooges, I might have drizzled a bit too much of that. Um, I found this recipe on Pinterest when I was looking for a lot of autumn inspired stuff. I really wanted to embrace the season this year. Um, I think since lockdown, um, I think a lot of us are embracing a lot of stuff that we wouldn't have embraced before. It. Okay, now on top of the veg, I'm also doing the Himalayan salt and the ground black pepper. And I'm leaving out the other, the chicken and steak uh, seasoning. Um, but like, I know I must be the weirdest Irish person you've ever met who does not eat, a, who does not like spuds. Um, up until last summer, I had never eaten um, a proper salad. Um, which was like, the one I got was beetroot, boiled egg, cheese. Ham, cosa, all all of the all of the fixings. I've never eaten it. And my uncle made it for me because I was going through this thing where I had to eat healthy because I was destroying my system. And I said, Joe, I'm just gonna try it. And I can gladly say that I will sit and eat a salad and not yak. Okay, so <laughs> enough about that. But um that's it. So they, they pop in the oven. We've got a solid fuel um stove. We are branching out. I will be getting a gas one because it's just better for the summertime. Um, but my stove is halfway, which means these will go in and the dinner should be cooked by five, if not before. Uh, well, four, actually, it's still really early. <laughs> we'll be cooked about four and then um, it, it should be done just in time for little age to come home from school. We love the autumn chicken dinner. Um, 
I did, as I said, I did it before for a Sunday dinner and it went down such a treat. And a lovely neighbour popped in a beautiful homemade apple tart for us to have for dessert. So we will be having that for dessert. So shout out to my neighbour. Thank you so much and thank you for your continued support of our desserts. <laughs> so I'm going to pop these in the oven guys and then I'm going to check back with you later on. Hey guys, okay, so I know I said I was going to do some pumpkin um, recipes as well this week, but I want to wait until the lady comes home from school and has all of her chores done. So pretty much I'm going to make kind of like a comfort food bowl using the same recipe that I used for my enchilada mix um, in the previous uh, Saturday. I hope it was the previous or I'm starting to lose track of Saturdays. <laughs> but. Um, last time I used a lot of mints, but because it's just going to be really like for myself, um, because it's a leaner option for myself, um, I'm using 4% fat lean mints, then of course the Passata and my special um, blend of mixes um, as well for this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, it's, called, it's a Dorito um, taco salad, Tac um, but it's going to be a Dorito enchilada. Um, food bowl for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer the bottom of the tray with the chili heat wave tomatoes and then my enchilada mix. So I'm going to go straight on to the cooking and hopefully that you will enjoy this and I will also link the recipe below. but I will do it for this video just in case um, I'm a massive uh, kind of fan of enchilada mix and stuff like that I really 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 like it and um, I put the spices in before I add my passata because I like to have, make sure that the meat is all coated with the spices and stuff like but because I've done it before and I would have um, just kind of What's the word? I would have just kind of, um, it wouldn't have coated the meat, so you'd be getting more spice in areas than you'd be getting in other areas. So I found that this works better. Now the next up I am using is um, Aldi's version of Passata. I don't know if you can see that, I'm so far away. Sorry, it's the only place my stand will stay without um, tumbling over. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about half of this to it, because it has to simmer like Simmer down, obviously, as you know yourselves. Guys, anyone who watched me cooking this last time is going to know how particular I am about how this is meant to look. Um, and now, you can add any of your favorite veg to this. You can even use a normal salad stuff. Now, I'm gonna pop this back on my little tabletop um, thingy. Um, hot plate, haha, <laughs> I got it. Uh, on my hot plate, I'm gonna let this simmer down. I'm gonna turn it down to two so it doesn't burn to the bottom of the pot. Um, but I absolutely love this mix, and I have been dying to try out that Dorito um, version of this for a while. So while that's cooking down, I'm just gonna tidy up a little bit and I'm just gonna let that simmer away, and then we're gonna come back to the next part. So that has simmered down perfectly. Um, so I'm just gonna pop off the hot plate, give it time to just put it out here to cool down. But at least it's still gonna stay warm. So what I've got in front of me is I have full Dorito chips and then I pushed up the rest of them. I've got my grated cheese and I've got my tray and I've got my greaseproof paper. Um, 
I don't want it sticking <laughs> to the bottom of this. So, um, obviously the sheet is too big, but sure, like, at least that way I can just kind of pop it out. Right. Okay. I'm just going to pop that there like that, and I'm going to start lining up the tray as well. Then my enchilada mix, and then the crushed Doritos, and then some cheese on top. So I'm going to bake this in the oven, and you can have a look at it in a bit. So guys, it actually is Friday night, and a couple of things came up. So we weren't actually able to do some of our pumpkin um, puree recipes. But I thought I'd take this time just to introduce all of our new subscribers, of course, to this little lady. Hi. So, oop, hello. Um, but pretty much you wouldn't have seen much of her this week because she has been in school. You would have only seen little clips of her when she's getting her dinner. Yeah. Do you want to tell everybody about what you get to do next Friday for school? So, set your nails to excitement. Okay. Oh, that's me eating now. Oh, wait. What are you going to be doing for school this week? Um, we are... Actually, that's a lot. And I'm going to be a kitty cat. Kitty cat. Yeah. So the only thing they're not allowed to do is wear the mask outside, which we all know that this is um this is the way times are, and it's been a very very strange year. It's been a year of change, isn't it? Or oh, and the one with the 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 the, oh, the the kids masks or oh, and the toy train Halloween paint. Halloween masks. Uh, isn't that right? So pretty much guys, with everything that's been going on, the support I've been getting from all of you is absolutely amazing. I love all of the the requests I get for stuff and everything. So what I'm going to do this week to ensure that I do an absolutely amazing video for you next week is I am going to open up the comments to your suggestions. We can have a personal question and answers vlog for next week. Or we can do an arts and crafts one or pretty much yeah. so you just leave me the suggestions in the comments below if the new subscribers would like to know me a little bit more then of course I'm gonna link the personal answers and questions one that I did a couple of weeks back and that was back when my channel was still a little bit baby it's still a baby but it's growing um, a lot faster than my gaming channel actually did oh and Shelly's vlogs ruined <laughs> so guys the comments are opened up to you. You can suggest anything at all for the vlog for next week. Just please keep it PG. And if you want a question and answers one, make sure that your questions are PG as well. And guys, you'll see me again on Wednesday because on Wednesday I will be making 
the pumpkin cookies and the pumpkin bread. I will link the people who have linked them um, in that video as well. But guys, that is it for this week. I hope you enjoy it. I'm sorry it's not a majorly, massively cookie, cooking kind of uh, vlog, but you know, life gets in the way and you just kind of have to embrace every day and move on and move forward. So guys, we love you and we shall see you all again next Saturday. Bye. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.